One man, one mission. To rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. Welcome to episode 270. This is The Anxiety Guy Podcast, and I am Dennis Simsek. Thank you for joining me. Today, in this podcast episode, I want to talk about the civil war taking place within us during this anxiety healing struggle. Before I get into it, warriors, I want you to know that this podcast episode is brought to you by my latest menu item related to members and masterclasses. Our online masterclasses begin in January. If you want to sign up for this premium content, please go to theanxietyguy.com and learn more under the menu item, Members. And so, the inner child looks to protect the entire organism. But the inner child goes above and beyond sometimes to do so. I bet you recognize this in your own life. You're thinking, why do I have this exaggerated feeling show up so often? The inner child exaggerates outcomes in order to keep the organism within a familiar belief system, and it uses very creative ways to distract from creating change. And you know, these creative ways of not allowing change to arise within you isn't because you're not capable of change. It's because of those creative acts that the inner child implements in order for you to come up with excuses for why change cannot take place in your life. To progress out of anxiety, we mustn't avoid, distract from, or look to ignore the feelings, intrusive thoughts, or extreme emotions being led by the inner child. But rather... We must use either our thinking faculty or our heartfelt intuition at just those moments in order to acknowledge and guide the inner child. This civil war taking place within you can be neutralized. There can be cooperation but we must first understand the loving intentions behind these fearful feelings in order for us to become whoever we naturally become. Warrior, as we go deeper and spend more time on ourselves and this healing journey, we become less interested in symptoms and more curious and interested in root causes. We find ourselves spending more time with the darkness within us, knowing that this darkness that we've looked to stuff aside holds the key to the light that we crave so much. You cannot have light without the dark. As we step foot in our unresolved past, we begin understanding how we got to where we are and have a deep feeling of being led in the right direction. Healing must feel effortless, like gliding with life, rather than forcing our desires to manifest. It's the act of forcing and willing ourselves to feel better that keeps inner peace farther from our grasps. When we heal at an emotional and energetic level, that healing trickles down to a cognitive, a behavioral, and a verbal level. 
It's the gentleness and kind nature that comes about from our adult minds that affects the entire organism in a healthy way. Remember this. This inner war between the inner child and adult mind can transform into the most loving and understanding relationship you've ever had. This inner relationship holds the key to creating loving and understanding relationships with everyone outside of you. So understand that it all starts here and within. Remember this. Healing becomes available to you only when you've looked beyond your symptoms and towards the loving intentions behind them. Remember that you are more than anxiety. If you're enjoying this podcast, please go ahead and give it a positive rate and review. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Take one very important message from this podcast and run with it. Write it down. Act on it until you become it. Have a wonderful day because you deserve it. Bye-bye. Thanks for being an important part of the Anxiety Guy podcast community. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a positive rate and review. If you're searching for further support on your road to recovery from anxiety, head over to anxietyexit.com and take part in the powerful End the Anxiety program based around the CBT model. If you're searching for a more one-on-one approach, you can sign up now for personal coaching sessions with Dennis via Skype. Remember, you are more than anxiety. See you in the next episode.